Okay guys, so this is a mold that I got from the one and only Resin Queen. Uh, she is totally an amazing mold maker. You should go check her out on Etsy. Uh, she makes just awesome molds. So I actually got this from her in a mystery pack. And um, it was actually an imperfect mold. But there's really nothing imperfect about it. Um, that I can tell. So the color I'm using here is a color from Island Micas and more. I believe it's called Into the Sky. I've had it for a while. Um, when I found it on the website, I knew I wanted it. I this is I mean I've probably had it for a couple months. And this is the first time I'm using it. Uh, when I saw uh, this mold and the mold you'll see later in the video, I was just like, oh my gosh. Okay, I have to use um, this color in these molds. So yeah, I'm just filling the mold up and uh, letting the magic happen. I am just obsessed with that color. It is so beautiful. Um, you'll be able to see it better when I unmold this piece here in a little bit. Here I'm actually kind of just filling around to see uh, how some of my edges are. I tend to over pour my resin because I hate sanding. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but look at that shine. It is gorgeous. This video does not do it justice. The shine in this color, oh my gosh, I am just obsessed with it. It is beautiful. So right here, I am just spraying just a little bit of alcohol um, into the mold. I just learned this trick from another resin artist, and let me tell you, I love it. This mold is from Danner Builds. This is actually the, um, you'll see it better when I demold it, but it's the protection symbol from the TV show uh, Supernatural. So any Supernatural friends out there, yeah, you'll catch, you'll know, uh, exactly when I demold it what it is anyway this symbol has like some uh, very uh, detailed points and the edges are to a sharp point um, and they are small the gaps are small anyway so the alcohol I learned from another artist actually just helps get the resin into the ends of your molds so you don't have to worry about um, bubbles or gaps or anything like that so yeah I mean uh, I hope that helps somebody out there so I'm gonna pop this baby out and you guys will see that I had no problems getting to the ends of this. I did have a little bit of overpour on the back. I do have some bubbles in the middle. But overall, I am super thrilled with how this turned out.